G'day, and welcome to Duck Soy Gaming and a new Let's Play series. This time we're on The Valley, The Old Farm by Black Sheep Modding. This is a long-awaited and an eagerly anticipated uh, map from the boys at Black Sheep Modding and it has finally arrived. Now obviously there are going to be a plethora of people putting out videos and live streaming that with this map. Um, I originally wasn't going to but I've had a bit of a look at the map and I like it and I'm going to enjoy it so we're going to do it anyway. It won't be a regular, it won't be a full time thing every every second night or whatever else, it won't be that regular. Um, however, we will we will get into playing it. Uh, we are going to play it on seasons, so as you can see there, seasons mode is running. Uh, we have a six day season cycle and we are running in hard mode and we are also going to play in career mode. So what we have done is we sold off some of the equipment that was here to start with. We've also maximized our bank loan, so we're heavily in debt. And we've bought a few things that we actually like to use uh, without going too overboard. And we're going to, uh, to manage to build up our farm that way. So the goal for this series is we're going to get to owning 25 fields. Um, that's the primary goal. Once we get to 25 fields, then we'll work out what we're going to do and how long it takes us to get there, I don't know. But uh, we'll give it a give it a whirl. All right. So at the moment, where do we stand? We have uh, some grass fields that we have under our control. So we have 91, 92, 26 are our grass fields. Our other fields are fields. I get lost. There's so many fields here to do. Uh, 62 and number two. So diametrically opposite each other. And field 25, a little field up here near uh, what is it, Rafferson? Um, or Ray uh straw and wool. So uh, we've got those fields to start with. So we do have a little bit of traveling to do, which is okay. Um, we're not gonna do a full tour of the map because others can do that so much better than me. So I will uh, refer you to, in the comments down below, if he's already got it out, uh, Farmer Klein's map tutorials. I, I believe he does amongst the best work in, in regards to the, the map tutorials and, and first impressions. So um, go and have a look at him. I will basically show you stuff as we come across it. I am learning the map. I've spent about the whole, well I've spent half an hour in the map. Um, basically I recorded this first episode previously or so I thought but the record button didn't actually hit properly and it wasn't recording. So when I pressed stop record it actually started recording. So anyway and in saying that so in that first <laughs> half an hour that we recorded. Field 62 has now been ploughed. Okay, so we've ploughed that. So he's almost ready to go. Now, back over in here. Plant growth obviously is controlled by seasons. Periodic ploughing required on, we're gonna turn it off. No, we're not, we're gonna leave that one on. Sorry, I meant to leave that on. We're only gonna have the one fertilizer state though. Okay, um, reason being, we don't want to make it really hard. This is sort of enjoyable, but also uh, a little bit realistic, but not overly so. So that's where we're going to be with that. All right, let's have a look at the equipment. Garage. Okay, so the New Holland 8340 and the Case 1455 and this stole stuff here all came with the map by default. So too did the JCB and the Bale Fork, and so too did the Case 1660 Combine Harvester and the Header. Uh, also, so did the Brantner trailer, the uh, cultivator, the plough and the cedar, the Great Plains cedar. We also have the uh, fertilizer spreader here. We have another trailer here, uh, manure spreader, sorry. I didn't realize that was a manure spreader. There you go. Uh, a pickup and a pressure cleaner. We have just purchased the Massey Ferguson 4709, which is the new tractor out of the Platinum DLC pack. I love this little thing, it's great. The Crone Duck Zorley Limited Edition, Lord of the Grass Edition, I should say, uh, Big M, with the extended hitch. The fertilizer spreader, 10,000 litre dry fertilizer spreader. From Horsch, from the Horsch DLC. The Vermeer Rake, the wind, wind rower and rake in one unit. Gee, that's a tongue twister, especially with me today. And we've bought the Horse Pronto 15 meter. Now this might be a bit of overkill. I don't think we're going to have the tractors to be able to manage that properly, especially if we've got a field that's a little bit uh, better than straight or, uh, with uh, horizontal. So um, we'll see how we go. But that is my preferred one, mainly because you can do everything with it. But um, hey, we'll, we'll have one little cheaty type thing, I suppose. All right, so that's all the equipment. 
So, like I said, we're not really going to do too much of a tour. We will do a quick tour though now around the farmhouse. So we've got some storage over there. That's where our tractor and our combine are sitting over there. Coming into the main yard, we have some storage down below. We have fuel in here, a fertilizer, both dry and liquid. Um, maintenance area in here for the tractors. We also have the TV. Now this is this is grand. Um, in a couple of different places you have the TV, and basically. Um, now it's not going to activate for me. Come on. All right. So for some reason I can't get activated. But anyway, it gives you uh, basically like a manual. So we'll have a look at one of your lines later. Um, you'll notice here there's a hay loft. This is fantastic. So up there we've got our JCB, and when I first came into the map, I thought, "How the hell?" I thought initially it must have just been a um, a static uh, model, but then I found out once I tapped into it that it wasn't. So how do we get up there? Well, up through here. This is our main store and fill area. So this is where we dump our crops and we fill. Up through here, round, up through this section in here, and then we get into the hay loft. So this is fantastic. This is a great way to maximize your storage capacity and uh, we certainly will make use of this once we do some baling. Um, so very interesting. Have our cows over here in the main farm. We'll cover off through those a little bit later. We have a silage clamp here. Have a huge area here of void space which we can do whatever we like with it. So put in placeables or whatever else if we so wish. A bit more storage through there. Um, this here is part of the sheep, yes, sheep. So this is the sheep area through here. Uh, bales, where are the bales come out? Don't know. Don't know. See, this is what I mean, we've got to learn. Maybe it's down the bottom. I don't think so. There's the chickens. No, there's nothing down this bottom end. All right. So what have I missed? I've missed something, which is nothing unusual for me. Let me go up and have a look. Let me go up through this way. Uh, for some reason, my space has never worked for jumping. Must be an issue with the uh, binding. I'll have to have a look at that one day. All right, over here with the sheep again. I have to look at the instructions, won't I? Uh, so that'll be where you drop off your food, I would imagine. Open the gate, have a bit of a look. Nothing around here. It's your water trough, I would say. I don't know. We'll have to have a bit of a look and see where the uh, the bales arrive. Maybe they arrive over in there, we just don't see any triggers. Anyway, we'll have a look later when we get some sheep. But we're not going to do that at the moment, so now I'll leave the gate there for now. All right, so we've got the cows over here. We've got the two more two silos clamps, okay? So over in there now, with these, we have ramps over this side, which we just come over here to the trigger point, and once we're close enough. There we go. There we go. So the ramp comes up and then we can dump our trailer into the silage clamp. I reckon that's great, fantastic. And then we can just lower it back down so it's out of the way again. So traffic can meander through here without any difficulty. There's our manure spreader over here. The farm tech one. Cow yard is over here. Some more storage around here, which is where we've got our uh, Big M and our Vermeer rake sitting. More storage in here. There you go. So there's no there's ample amount of storage. You can see storage. So yeah, that's where we're at. Alright. So what we're gonna do, uh, so we've already ploughed this field down here, as you can see just over there. 
what we're going to do now is we're going to take this tractor here and we're going to head off to the actually no we won't because there's no need to because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head over because I, there's nothing else at the store so there's no point taking a second tractor up there is there no it's just that so here's the Massey Ferguson so we're going to bring him back from the store and as we come back from the store we'll keep an eye out and see what we can see on the way out so that's where all the equipment will um, spawn when you when you purchase it out here have the trigger for the sail point I think on this side yeah there's your maintenance and uh, sell point and customization point so we're just going to bring him back to the farm on speed through the town quite a little town area looks quite good now this could be quite problematic through here especially for your bigger equipment if you want to use bigger equipment like a big bud which I wouldn't recommend not yet anyway we may do it um, but then you come down this way down back towards the farm again so ample amount of uh, townsfolk walking through the little village crossing over the creek in here we have our sawmill so our sawmill is down there, we're going to have a bit of a quick look around now again I haven't looked into anything of how this operates in any way shape or form so um, we'll have to have a look at that a little bit later quite a, a large complex though very well done all the stuff on this map looks as though it's pretty much custom like all the buildings and that I mean look I'm, I have I am quite selective and haven't played a huge amount of maps that are available but certainly a lot of stuff in here I've never seen before in, in so far as models go so uh, it, it certainly looks fantastic so aesthetically it is a fantastic effort so well done to uh, BSM you've done a, a grand job you really have up through the forestry area up there you'll notice there's a few dirt paths every now and again and that's how we access that but there seems to be plenty of forestry uh, availability as well for those that want to get in and do all their forestry but yes that's a sawmill so uh, where are we on the map so just acquaint yourself so there we are there on the southern side of the river so uh, the biogas and all that is up further on the north uh, northwestern side of the map so but right now we're going to be coming down past the uh, the piggery and the other farms. So there's basically four farms from what I can I can gather uh, on this map. So there's the main farm, which is where we're situated, um, which has got that little green uh, icon down there. There's the secondary farm here for the pigs, which I think is sort of meant to be a, a part of the main farm. Over in the far southwest, or sort of southwest, you've got another farm over there. And then you've got one up to the northeast as well. So there's it's the four main farms by the look of it. So uh, again, we'll um, we'll see how we go, and we'll we'll get to have a look around. We'll go in here and have a bit of a look. Okay. So for the pig area, there's plenty of storage there. That'll be the pig shed through there. storage aesthetically it's a very good looking map um, different textures by looking at all the grass all that sort of stuff it, it does look very good different uh, manure pit so yeah that looks very good we, we're going to have some fun with this map they've done a fantastic job with it they really really have at this very early stage so it doesn't look as though they've got uh, any mixes so we may have to look at plopping in a, a, a mixer um, when we do look at having pigs and cows um, assuming that the cows don't have one, well, no, the cows don't have one up there so what we might have to do is in that uh, vacant area up near the farm we might uh, plop in a couple of um, feed producers so the, uh, the pig food and the TMR All right, a bit, of a bit of a drop down here they're certainly not frightened of having a bit of variation in the uh, terrain, which is great. 
while a flat map can be interesting and, and be okay, um, I certainly don't mind having one with lots of elevation and, uh, and it certainly seems that's going to give us plenty of that. I did note today on Mark Dupont's uh, live stream, he's running the uh, more realistic mod and I think he's running the gearbox mod as well. As well. And uh, he tried taking a tractor and trailer across or over that little, through the through the gully and up the rise on the other side and he struggled, uh, he had to back down the gears or find a very high gear to, uh, to get up. So that was... Uh, Interesting to see. Anyway, here we are. We're back at the main farm. So we're going to bring him round and in. What we might do is we might just park him just directly in here. We will have to fill him up with some fertilizer at some stage later. But uh, we'll get to that when we need it. That'll do. Alright. So head on over here. Bring the tractor in. So now we've got three tractors, combine harvester, um, that's, and the big M. That's basically it. That's all the equipment we've got to start off with, effectively. So um, $52,000 in the bank. So we've got to hope that we can uh, we can manage on that. So what we might do is we will take this guy out and we'll see if he can manage the plough, which is just over here, and we'll head up and plough that small field number. Oh, what number was I? I can't remember now. I we'll have to have a look. We'll head up to 25. So best way to get to 25. All right, we're going to have to go go down the long way. So we'll go go the tour down the long way. So we're going to head down south and then follow the southeastern road and head up north. So that's the way we're going to go. So uh, let's go have a bit of a tour. Okay. One thing with this tractor not having a full canopy, you've got a, a huge uh, field of view, nothing obstructing it. So I haven't noticed any glitches or anything with uh, terrain tearing or anything as such at the moment, um, which I wouldn't expect. I mean, black sheep modding do a, a very good job of all the stuff they get out. Um, now, it would come as a surprise to most of you that no man have seen what uh, the way I prefer to farm that I'm running a career mode and I'm using small equipment um, it would probably surprise a fair few of you um, but we're going to give it a go and this, this map is is the one that so far that's captured my uh, imagination to, the, to actually consider doing that instead of normally going uh, for the big equipment and just going in and, and burning through stuff and getting it done so um, yeah we'll see how we go Still waiting on that monitor mount to come in so I can get the steering wheel and all that back out. So I apologise for the jerkiness in my steering for now, even though the uh, steering mod is active, keyboard steering mod is active. Not that it really helps that much. But yeah, so plenty of plenty of bu bumps and mounds and little hillocks and all that sort of stuff. So uh, makes for a very interesting map. Oh look, there we go. There's one flat field. Probably go almost argue. No, it's not flat. It's got a bit of a mound to it. So we've we've come down to the bottom of the map now. Now we're gonna head up on the northern the northern route. Right, can we get around him? Oh, there's nothing coming. Put the beacons on just so they know we're there. front of him now. Continue on. Get 
turn after that rise. It's almost a blind corner, really. Coming off that uh, that rise. Castle or a chateau up there on the hill. So even though it seems like it's uh, a very small map or or sort of intermediate with um, so many smallish maps, it's uh, it's going to take a while to get around, especially if you've got to go from one end to the other, like we have with a couple of these uh, starting fields. So um, it's going to be very interesting. Um, obviously, we're going to keep the traffic on too. Um, the traffic on this map, unlike some others, doesn't seem to be unrealistic or unreasonable in, in the speed it runs at and all that sort of stuff. Um, so uh, certainly for the meantime, we're going to keep it on and uh, see how we go. So yeah, this will be a bit of a change for uh, for me and my gameplay style with Farming Sim. So uh, could be many laughs to be had. Um, Reefy might finally get a bit of his own back. So uh, we'll see how we go. At the cross the river again. So we shouldn't be getting too far away. Well, there we go. We're not far away at all. So this field here, immediately on our left, is field twenty. Six. There we go on the map, and that's our grass field. And then immediately over to the west of that is our field 25, which is what we're about to head to. All right. So we need to slow down a bit. Turn off here. We'll come out of there so we stop doing so much of a jerk. And there he is. It's only a very small field. I think I can handle this one. All right. Let's uh, start ploughing. Now, with the last field, I did use um, the GPS mod, and, and you know what? I'm going to do the same again, just for the fact that uh, I don't trust myself. Actually, what we will do. We do the same as what we did last time. Alright. We don't have anything about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, the up and downs and then we'll tidy up the headers uh, at the end when we're finished. So we'll just do our turning and then we'll reset once we've finished all the uh, the furrows or the lines and then we'll be done so as you can see there'd be no point really doing this field if we had the, uh, the 15 or 25 meter ploughs um, because ultimately you would just be finished them so it wouldn't be funny and, and same with the big combine by the time you finished it um, well, by the time you started it, you'd be finished it. So, uh, again, not really much point. So, uh, that's why this one may be uh, requiring a little bit different gameplay. So, weather-wise, uh, sunny today and tomorrow. Oh, a little bit over, over cloud by the look of it. Overcast, I should say, by the look of it. Um, maybe a chance of rain, I guess. Uh, and then what else have we got? We've got uh, overcast for Wednesday and Thursday, sunny day on Friday, and rain coming Saturday, Sunday. And as we head uh, into summer, so Sunday, Sunday being our first day of summer, um, a little bit of rain, and I'll just get that phone call and come back. I won't. Just ignore that ring in the background. Oh! Well, there you go. Um, no collisions on that telegraph pole. Oh well, that's okay. So, there you go, Reefy. I didn't crash. Didn't see a thing. Literally. All right.
So I must admit, a slightly bigger uh, plough would be nice. Um, but thankfully, we're running on a plough every now and again, so we're going to be culti we'll cultivate the next couple of crops through, so it won't be too much of an issue. All right, we'll reset our lines again now. He's a good looking little tractor, this one. So what, what I was thinking, I, I don't think I mentioned it yet, what I've been thinking of doing, because of the fact we're going to be going uh, with the smaller equipment than that, um, it may finally be the time that I pull out the Black Sheep Modding Massey Ferguson pack and, uh, and have a look at that and start playing with some of that smaller equipment. Um, I've heard lots of good stuff about that pack and not the I had anything against using it other than the fact that it was just too small and it wasn't really part of my game. Um, but now may be the time to uh, have a look at it and uh, and get stuck into it and see how, see what we can do with it. So uh, we'll still have a look and see what we can do. So I'm certainly not going to jump out and grab all the, the big equipment straight away as soon as we can. Um, we want to basically maintain our goal of trying to be fiscally responsible and uh, and manage the farm as best we can by expanding and the only way we're going to expand the farm is by buying more fields so um, our our investment into assets and will be secondary to our uh, investment into infrastructure being fields basically Alright, not much to go now. Once we've finished ploughing this field, that'll be the end of this episode. We'll uh, we'll sign off from this episode, and then uh, we'll come back on the next uh, next episode, which will probably happen virtually straight after this one. But uh, we'll just sort of see how we go. Control speed down a bit. So we've got two more runs to do, and then just got to tidy up these uh, these heads. Didn't take too long. I wouldn't want to be doing um, some of the broad acre farm fields or anything uh, with this tractor and plough combo. Um, that would drive me nuts, literally. Alright, so this is the last line we need to do. So then we'll just uh, tidy up the bottom ends and the top end with the, uh, the header row. And then uh, we should be... Uh, all finished. Okay. So we'll raise him up. We'll just try and get, uh, get these lengths here done. Like so. It's not really that important, I suppose, to, uh, to get it perfect. Um, certainly in real life, I know they don't uh, make a perfect field. But uh, we'll just tie this little bit up here, like so. And that, that'll basically do it, I think. Raising up. We'll do run, one run along here, see how bad this side is. Which isn't too bad, actually. Try that little bit up through there. Here we missed there, that's okay. Swing out and then we'll get most of this in here. Okay. There we go. 
So, we've ploughed our first field, or second field, but first field on camera, and uh, we're good to go. So, what we're going to do now is wait for the temperature to raise a little bit more, another degree, and then we can start putting some of our fields in. So, in the interim, we'll uh, start heading back to the farm, and uh, we will, uh, in fact, what, what we'll do is probably head up to the uh, the other field while we're out here and we'll, we'll do that and we'll do that in the next episode so we're uh we'll head up to field two and uh, be ready to prepare field two on the next episode so until then thank you for joining ducks all ducks all gaming um this has been the new map from black sheep modding the valley of the old farm and we look forward to seeing you when we next return to the farm and continue on with this let's play series until then this is ducks all ducks all gaming wishing you a Fond farewell, and we shall see you again very, very soon. Thanks very much. Bye. <coughs>